the cross in comic show. Welcome back to Cards and Comics. I have today a box of 95 Select Baseball. We talked about opening this up on the um, video I did uh, where I talked about uh, picking up stuff from uh, the Indie Card Exchange. And one of the things I picked up, well, I picked up two boxes of 95 Select Baseball. Now, I've never opened it before. And from what I understand, it has um, a lot of packaging. So this could be a slow opening. Um, it's 20 packs um, per box, and this thing weighs a ton. So I'm going to open it, and it's a very beautiful packaging. I mean, you can tell this is like when packaging really started to take off, um, where we started to, to not fear killing a bunch of trees so that we could have beautiful uh, openings of baseball cards. And if you think about it, the evolution from this became... Flawless and, and exquisite and natural treasure, national treasure. So uh, this is kind of like the start of this whole, like, not only premium cards, but premium packaging uh, to display your beautiful premium cards. Uh, you got to have the packaging to go along with it. So there you go. That's what this box looks like. Um, and, I, and again, I have two boxes and I talked about one I may give away. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. And I think there is... Yeah, this cardboard thingy, interesting. There is, I think, uh, to, uh, um, I want to say, I want to say a case hit, but there's weird stuff already. Like, I don't know why there's just cardboard <laughs> randomly inserted in the product. Um, but yeah, you can see all the packs. Um, you know, how they were just, you know, so it's three, 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 so, you know, um, six, 18, and then the last row had four. And then each of these have its own little, um, plastic. So again, to open the packaging, is going to take a little while. I may time elapse this so you don't see all me doing this to every box because, or every pack because it would be boring. But um, let's see if they actually have odds here. Yep. So there we go. Mirror gold. One in five packs. Certified futures. One in 19. Potentially unlimited. One in 32. And certified gold team cards, which is the one we want to get, is one in 41. So there we go. We want a mirror gold of Griffey or a certified gold team. Um, the other two packs, the certified future in... Potential unlimited, um, I don't think are quite as collected. We'll go ahead and start this. First time for me opening this product, hopefully um, for some of you guys, it's, it's, you know, again, this isn't select, this is select certified. So that's very important that we talk about the certified edition versus the base certified. So we'll put the box you know, like it was meant to be displayed back in the day. There you go. And uh, we'll get into it. And again, I'm breaking for myself. So if a car goes off camera, the thing about it is I don't have these cards anyway. So what am I going to replace it with? I don't own a card. So let's see how you get into these. Like, I don't know if you were supposed to pull this. Is it, is it all going to slide out? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, this is not working for me. I don't. How do they intend for us to we just push it out? No, or you just, I don't know, like you break this and then go this way. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a little confusing. First pack. We'll, we'll figure this out um, as we go. There we go. And now another wrapper. So this is the third wrapper we're having to open to get into the product. And this was not quite as hard. So there we go. And 
here we go. We're going to start with the base cards. And the base cards are pretty. So, starting out with Andre Scalaria. And they have a little bit of something on them to maybe make them slide around a little bit. So, Galarraga, base card. Um, ooh, there's a Derek Jeter. Rookie certified. Wow, that's, that's a cool card. There we go. Now, of course, this is 95, so this isn't his true rookie, but it's a high end. Oops, if I can flip it around. Um, I guess space card. Um, yeah. There you go. It's a Jeter, so we hit a good player off the bat. Chuck Knobloch, not as good of a player. We've got something gold shiny in the pack. There's Deion Sanders, and this is one of the problems with this set is a little bit of scuffing. You can see that. And they have a kind of a very almost like dufexy front. There's Alonzo. And then our hit is I think it's the gold Agra Martinez. So mirror gold right off the bat. Wow. Mirror gold Agra Martinez. So that's pretty cool. I mean I will take that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And I'll pull the Jeter out in, uh, as well because that's a cool base card. So we hit a cool base card and we hit a mirror gold right off the bat. Um, created. So here we go, guys. Pack two. I had more luck with pack one opening. So, and again, if I get. Time to edit. I will try to flip through these pack openings a lot faster. All right. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Uh, Marty Cordova, rookie. You see the base rookies. Manny Ramirez, base card. So, again, very good player. Cal Ripken. And this is card 2131. So, I think this is like, like the base card. But they numbered it 2131. I don't think that they have two cards of Ripken. This is just like the base card from what I read. Um, well, I'll confirm that. But uh, Andy Pettit, kind of a rookie card too. A rookie. And Jeff Bagwell. So, and again, the, the later in the years they made these cards, they, they did it, you know, you can see how like kind of metalized the card is. And they made the cards a little cooler later on. But a lot of people like the set. And again, here's a checklist. Um, so I know a lot of people like the set and I still have to uh, navigate the next pack, which open a little easier than I use a knife. So learning guys, learning Sean Green. Here we go. Ray Langford, good player for a long time. Hall of Famer Roberto Almar. Ishmael Valdez, Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett, and Greg Vaughn. And then hit a checklist. King Griffey Jr. These are paper thin, so I'm not really sure they're cards. But I will rip the pack open. Kind of Hall of Famer Will Clark or almost Hall of Famer Jeff Cyril. Well, he's not, but and here's absolute Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. So we've had a lot of good players. Wally Joyner was good for a long time. Vaughn Eshelman and Cecil Fielder. And let's see how many home runs he had that year. Oh, and then, okay, 28, you can see. There you go, 28 home runs. So he hadn't hit his 50. That became kind of his, you know, the one thing that people remember him from, other than Prince Fielder's dad. Again, we should get five, maybe, in the box. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kyle Ripton, another thing. Nope, just another Andy Pettit, another Jeff Bagwell, a lot of doubles. Cordero and Michael Tucker. So it's always disappointing to get doubles in a product um, that I guess is so expensive and limited. It was such a big deal. Uh, J Bell. But when you, you know, as a kid, you'd open a pack of 93 finest. And obviously you want to hit a Griffey or a Nolan or, or you know, just a base card. But I would get so mad when I would just get um, um, just um, doubles. Because, you know, as a kid, I still try to put sets together. You know, that was what I thought was fun. It's not really worth much. 
That's all about the key cards, and that's about it. All right, Jimmy Key. Cool. All right, what is this? National League Rookies of the Year. Okay. So that's the three in a row. Cool card. If you're a Dodger fan. Uh, Derek Bell, Operation Shutdown. Barry Lamar Barnes. Uh oh, whoa. Rut row, Roy, Roy. We got something in the back here that's really shiny. Oh my gosh, what's going to be? Cliff Floyd's right in front. Oh, what's it going to be? It is, it looks like Sammy Sosa. Gold team. Oh man. No, it's Jose Canseco. Oh man, I thought it was. Couldn't tell. Uh, oh, we hit the gold team, but we got the wrong player. Man, how cool that card is. I want that Griffey card now so bad. You know, I've never even touched one of these cards before. Like, you know, and just having one in my hand. And I remember you see in photos, they don't look as cool as they do when they're in your hand. This is a really cool card. I'm just going to tell you guys, like, it's cool. It's the two facts on the front. It's the metal eyes on the back. And they reuse a lot of these elements over and over and over. Like, you know, um, like on artist proof cards and other inserts. So, you know, they, they reuse elements of this. But this, this card is early in this process of them using this technology. And it does look awesome. That is a cool, that's a cool looking card, man. I don't care. It's Jose Canseco. I know. It's Jose Canseco, guys. Eh? I know. People are going to be like, it's $2. I know. I know. Maybe not $2. Maybe it's $5. But it's still cool. It could have been Griffey, right? And this is the granddaddy, the starter. And they didn't have all the kinks worked out. But still, they made some really nice looking cards. All right. Ventura. Um, Bill Ashley, Joe Patello, and Osuna. So we haven't hit another base gold. And there's Griffey right here. So should I sell the pack as it is and say, oh, look, it's an unopened pack of 95 Select with Griffey on the front, right? I could do that. I'm not going to, but like, I could do that. Now I got the box, and if I hit another one of these, maybe I, you know, if I don't sell or sell, but if I don't, Get the box away. I might just like, hey, let's try, try to find the Griffey on the front. There is King Griffey Jr. on the front. Let everyone bask in the glory. That is the King Griffey Jr. 95 select base card. There's the back. Really, really cool. Um, so now we've hit the Jeter, the Griffey, and the Bonds, which now we need to hit Frank Thomas, and we'll pretty much. Have everyone you need, I guess. Nolan Ryan, we hit Cal Ripken, we'll move on, and Juan Acevedo. So, again, we've hit really good on the base. I mean, and I don't have these cards in my collection, so I'm just I mean, I'm telling you the truth. Sorry, I keep hitting the thing. I'm everything's so close, and I'm tired. I'm just coming back from Indiana, and I want to do a video before I go to bed, so a little tired. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Ray Durham. Dean Palmer, Andy Murray, Cross Press. So we are getting into the waiter. Do we got anything else? All right, there's something shiny in here. So I think we hit something. Benji Gill, Benitez, great player. Benia, Clemens, A Rod, which he would be the other big dog. And last but not least, who we got here? I see Red Spikes, Barry Larkin. Nope, John Mabry, not, not the player we were looking for. He was huge. Um, I'm doing a video. I'm getting ready to record a video on the best, the greatest auto sets from the 90s. And I've kind of created two different categories. Um, I've created, you know, the two categories when I'm looking at auto sets from the 90s is, and what I want to talk about really is auto sets where you were kind of guaranteed an auto. Not, you know, like an auto set where it's like one per, you know, case. And you know, that's not, I'm talking about the one per box, the one per pack auto sets. And there were so many of them in the, in the 90s, and which were the best, which had the best players. I'm going to do a video on that soon. But the reason I mention that is because A-Rod 
in a lot of those sets, uh, especially on the Donner side, you know, was your big hit. So A Rod would have been the big pull back in the day. Um, today, not so much, unfortunately. Um, Alex and Dallas, Brett Seberhagen. I don't think this is anything here. And it's the first time we've had a card stuck the entire time. Oh, it is. It's something. All right. What we got here, it's Brian Hunter and Potential Unlimited. So those are really cool looking cards. Again, just very nice gold, dufaxy, number one, one of 1975. So these had that kind of like non-serial numbered, serial numbered, where, okay, it, it's it's rare, but it, we can't serial number because the technology didn't exist, Jim. We didn't have it. It's, just, it's getting warm around here. It's like 80 degrees in New York. It's warmer than I thought it would ever be. Randy Johnson, John Olerud, James Baldwin, Bayerga. Oh, I just ruined it. There's another gold. And it's Moses Alou, who definitely is one of those guys who had somewhat of a case for Hall of Fame. But uh, unfortunately, it's not going to make it. But he was a very good player for a long time. There for a year or two until they get traded. So that is our life today is, you know, we are, you know, bottom of the barrel. But off to a good start, even though we got beat today. Chipper Jones, Paul O'Neill, Ivan Rodriguez, and, oh, that was something. Hal Morris and Larry Walker. This one. Edgar Martinez. Let's see, do we have anything in this pack? David Justice. Benji Gill, not a Hall of Famer by any stretch of the imagination. Benitez, Thompson. Roger Clemens probably should be a Hall of Famer, but another A-Rod. Look at that. Um, very cool. Two A-Rods. Wow. Um, or if they admitted it, um, you know, suffer maybe having to get in after they die. Which is what they tend to do when they don't want to let, when they're kind of obstinate, like the Negro League players. I think um, the Buck Leonard, um, the guy from Kansas City, that they didn't let in until he died, which is just horrible. Okay, well, there's Cat Ripken. So there is two cards of Ripken. That's his base. Cool. So those, that 2131 is a insert. So I was wrong on that one. There's Jim Tomey. Tomey. And Frank, but as a checklist, which isn't cool at all. Because they're not real cards. I really don't think some of these uh, some of these sports writers are very uh, vengeful. And they do not like Barry Bonds. Because Bonds was a jerk to him. Kind of throughout his whole career, you know. Especially when you're as good as Barry Bonds. You, you, know, you don't need to have friends in the media. Um, so he didn't. And he's suffering some of those consequences now. We're kind of not um, playing nice with other people. And um, when he didn't need to, he didn't need to, and it didn't hurt him, but now he does, and he doesn't know really how to do it, and doesn't really want to do it. So it will probably cost him making the Hall of Fame uh, until he probably dies, which sucks, you know, but that's how baseball tends to roll. And, um, yeah. and even though that they will never forgive him. They will certainly promote all the betting um, companies in the world that sponsor them now. Um, and you can, you know, go on any uh, MLB sponsored, um, you know, show or podcast or anything, and you'll get a advertisement for gambling. Um, and so, and a lot of people think sports cards are gambling too. And in a lot of ways, I agree with that statement. So yeah, gambling is all around baseball from sports cards to actual real gambling, uh, on, at a casino and the Joe Jackson can't get in the hall of fame because, you know, he took money from an owner or took money from a, uh, you know, a degenerate and, um, 
even though he didn't do it, you know, they just feel like they have to. Biggio, manually. New cards, Frank Rodriguez. Ah, Mike Piazza. And yeah, Mike Mussina, that's cool. Definitely, Hall of Famer is both there, so. Last pack. So, I mean, we should hit a gold in this pack, but I was going to guess. If odds hold up, this should be the last gold, hopefully. And if it doesn't hold up, we get shorted one. That will be a bummer, uh, because we should get between four and five golds. And right now, our gold count is four, I believe. Let's go back and recap. Um, grabbing these cards weird. Got Moses Lou, John Mabry, and Edgar Martinez. So no, we do not have four. We have three. So yeah, so we were kind of short of one. Because if they're one in four packs, we should have got well, one in five packs, so we should have four. So if we get one in this pack, we we did okay. Yeah. Uh huh, Joranda. And it looks like we got. No, no. Oh, there it is. Jim Tommy. Wow. Whoa. Jim Tommy. So two Hall of Famers in one box. So we'll recap it, but that was really fun. So here is the Mirror Golds Jim Tommy, Moses Lou, John Mabry, and Edgar Martinez. So really three players, two Hall of Famers, one really good player, and then one. Not so great player. Um, the other two inserts again, team gold, goal or gold team, Jose Canseco. You see the back, it's really him. Um, even though the front doesn't really look like him, in my opinion. And then we got a Brian Hunter, uh, potential unlimited, numbered one of 1975. So there you go. That's it, guys. That's the break. Hope you had fun. Hope you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments. What we should do with box number two. And I'll see you next time in Cards and Comics. Bye.